I have a haul to share with you of some things I picked up that I plan on using for like journaling. I don't think any of these things are really like new new to her shop, but her shop is a newer one to me in the sense that I've only ordered a couple of times, mostly to get some things for my daughter because she's planning in a Hobonichi cousin and she really likes the style of the stickers that Helen creates over at the Coffee Monsters Co. So when you get an order, the stickers that you get come in, you know, packaged in a plastic. And this was also in plastic. I just had took it off already. And they have a little sticker here that has the picture and name of the person who packed your order, which I think is really cute. And my daughter wants, is patiently waiting for me to film this video so she can take this sticker because she wants to keep it. She's been sticking them over here on her little order card, which I'll show you in a minute. It's a way to like keep track of reward like the beans every order you get like one of these cards and this one happened to have a cookie recipe on it on the back which my daughter's upset that <laughs> she didn't get this one because she already has another card that she's already started using with her her coffee beans so the way the coffee beans work is on your sheets of stickers that you order you'll see that there's like a little coffee bean right here and you stick that sticker over here and you collect the coffee beans and then in order for you to like to redeem it you have to take a picture and send it to them when you place your order you have to let them know that you're going to redeem the card and so you redeem the card for a sampler that will come with your order so i think this is a really cool idea for a shop to do so this is going to be my card that i'm going to use for collecting coffee beans let me show you what stickers i picked up so this is not a sticker this is just a die um just a die cut and it's just cute with the little flowers i love plants and flowers and things so i thought this was really cute i might add this to my planner i don't know where i'm gonna stick it i'm probably gonna put like some double some like repositionable tape on the back of that and i'll stick that somewhere so i got the she has so many different emotion stickers that you can get to represent pretty much every single emotion and she draws all these things so the ones i picked up were this is like a sampler kind of you can get each of these emotions as like a full entire sheet but she has these sheets now where you can get like a variety so this one's the emoji heads part one and i got the emoji heads part two so these are mostly like happy emotions and these are mostly like sad emotions and then of course I got the happy mail emojis, which I think are super cute. And then the gardening emojis because I need to take care of my plants, especially in the summertime because, you know, it's hot and I want my plants to die. So those are the ones that I got and this is the freebie that it came with. I think this is super cute, a highlight and a low light. That's adorable. I hope they come out with some sheets like this because I think I would love to get that because then you can stick those in the journal get your ducks in a row that's cute okay so this is what I got and I thought that I would use this like a journal this is called the my emoji planner and this is the volume 2 version I don't think she has a volume 1 version on the site but she says that the intention for this planner is to give you something where you don't have to take it too seriously you can either plan out your days make doodles jot down your ideas or use it as a diary and no room for judgment so I thought this would be a cool little journal and that's why I got the stickers so I can use them in here for that so it first comes with a like sticker sheet that you can use to stick you know some stickers on there so you don't need to have like sheets with it so this is a days of the week sticker sheet in Helen's handwriting and then a page for some pen swatches it's front and back and then here is like the all the rest of the pages are just like this and it's front and back exactly like that so you've got just a little heart and that would be where I guess you would write the date and then you've got this little section to fill out and it's dot grid if you can tell it's dot grid and I am intending my idea with this is that I could use this at night before I go to bed in like a way that I could just open end journal as opposed to like a prompted one 
and I could use the stickers that I have to kind of help with like what my mood was for the day or like how my mood was during certain things that happened in the day and you know if I got something in the mail and that made me happy then I could use like um, one of these sorts of stickers so I really think that this would be a really cool way to journal and you know have fun using stickers so that's what I got this for and I wanted to share it because I think this is like a really cute way to like journal especially because she has so many emotions that you can buy stickers like you know that have kind of like all these things they're so cute her artwork's so cute there are other shops too that you could shop for that have similar styles of stickers that you know you can use in journaling but I figured this would be a good start for me since there's such a variety in just these two sheets alone and I've never really been a journaler that you know would use stickers so using stickers and journaling is something completely new to me I've always just journaled and just written out my thoughts I thought this would be a cool way to kind of try and see how I feel about adding some stickers into like journaling on my thoughts and feelings about like how the day went pointing out wins pointing out what didn't work pointing out you know moments that got me upset or had me feeling anxious or sad or you know just whatever I thought this would be cool and I wanted to share it here on my channel since I talk all about like planning and self-care and I think journaling is a really great way to take care of your emotional well-being because sometimes journaling out like how are you feeling can help you process what those thoughts are better than just keeping those thoughts up in your head and then a lot of times when I journal if I'm doing like a really long freehand and just some lined um, pages oh my gosh I lost my train of thought <laughs> writing it out all long-handed and just getting it all out there can sometimes help me uncover a solution to something that I wouldn't have otherwise uncovered if I didn't take the time to jot down all my thoughts and feelings so this on the other hand I it, obviously this is not something that I would use in like a long journal format I still need to use my notebook for that but with this is more to kind of record some wins and some things that didn't work because I am following like the moxie life system where I want to reflect on the week at the end of the week and unless I'm doing some kind of a daily journaling I'm not going to really remember how the week went. So I've been every day trying to write something down to kind of give me some clues as to how the day went, what kind of wins might have happened in the day, what things brought me joy and those sorts of things so that I can just read those um, journal entries back and kind of see how my week was overall, especially because it's really easy for like a negative event to overcast the entire week and journaling like this every single day is going to is helping me to more accurately reflect on the week and on the month as opposed to just kind of like trying to like remember and keep everything in my head like our we really weren't designed to remember everything our brains were not designed that way and so writing things down at you know any point is just like so 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 helpful to like just reduce overwhelm because your brain can get overloaded with all those things so anyway I hope that you liked this video if you want to see more planning and self-care related videos like this make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one bye